guys in this video i am going to show you how to solve a stepped bar in ansys mechanical apm so here is the given problem the compound bar consists of uh, two cross sections 1400 and 1600 of two different lengths and the uh, material of element 1 is aluminum and element 2 is steel the young's modulus has also been given we need to find the deformation stresses and strains when load is applied so first of all head to preferences structural click okay preprocessor element type uh, so the element type we are using is a link 3d finite strain element click okay and close and now the element has been given its area needs to be assigned go to real constants and give the area as 1400 for first element and for the second element give it as 600 mm square click okay close now go to material properties and assign the young's modulus structural linear elastic isotropic young's modulus is 2e5 st and 0.3s for example here exit now the material properties and real constants have been given go to modeling create uh, nodes in active cs and the first node is at uh, origin 000 the second node at um, 300 and then and the third node at 300 plus 400 700 mm. click okay so we have the nodes here now head on to elements element attributes here we need to select the real constant and material number of first first element okay auto numbered through nodes so here is the first element is a straight line now for the second element change the real constant to Uh, second area of cross section again through nodes this is the second element another modeling has been done now head on to loads loads define loads settings oops sorry apply structural displacement on nodes so first of all we need to constrain the motions at uh, nodes 1 and 3 click okay arrest all the degrees of freedom as they are fixed now we need to apply load uh, in terms of forces on node 2 along the x axis and its value is uh, 200 kN 200 kN click okay now the loads have been given the problem has been pretty much uh, visualized now so head on to solution solve current load step click okay close close the solution has been done now if you want to see uh, how the cross section look like it looks like oh, uh, don't worry go to plot elements and uh, they'll be back and then go to plot control style size and shape if you click on the display of element you will be able to see the cross section the isometric view orthogonal view and the front view hmm. i go to general post processor plot results deform shape deform and deform shape click okay so here is the deform shape at node 2 you can uh, animate it by going to plot controls animate deform shape and give the number of frames and uh, time and de deform plus and deform click okay so here's the animation you can control the time and go close now head on to plot results contour plot nodal solution at nodal solution you can obtain the displacement degree of freedom x or uh, displacement vector sum both are same as y and z components are zero so these are the displacement uh, values and head on to element solutions for stresses and strains for stresses go to x component of stresses so these are the x component stresses and for strains go to elastic strain x component of elastic elastic strain click okay This is the x component of elastic strain. Y and z components will be zero, however.
I'll go to list results nodal solution degree of D of solution x component to obtain loads in the form of um, text <coughs> and element solution for stresses and strains in the form of text so these are the values similarly it's strain elastic strain x component okay so that's all about uh, this problem um, that's how you solve a stepped bar in ansys mechanical ipl thanks for watching and subscribe if you want to see more of these videos